two really exciting things about this video. Three, as per usual, I cannot count. Three really exciting things about this video. A, it's daytime, so you can see me. Aren't you lucky? Um, although the sun hasn't come out and we have freezing mist instead. So that's nice. Um, the other good thing is hopefully you can hear me, figured out the technical issue, sorted that out we hope. And the third good thing, I have a friend! It's my good man Wayne Hand, aka The Shore Hunter, is here. Um, we've got a bit of a experiment, it's not really an experiment because it has been done before. Yeah. Um, but we haven't done it this winter, um, we haven't done it for ages to be fair. The mullet spinning, which as you know I am completely addicted to, um, is loads and loads and loads of fun. Um, and in the summer months you catch the occasional flounder doing it. So we thought, well, it's winter now, let's do that. So we're literally down here with exactly the same gear. We've got the mullet spinners out, we've got the mullet spinning rods, travelling light, um, and we're going to spin for flounders. We are. <laughs> well, we're going to have a go, aren't we? We're going to have a go. Yeah, this is it. Um, the conditions have been... No, this is the excuse part of the video. The conditions have been difficult. Um, we've had, you know, flooding. I wanted to do this for the last few weeks, but the, the rivers have been flooded. The, 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 the harbour's been smashing through at a rate of knots. Um, that stopped, and now it's minus a billion degrees. Um, that's not an exaggeration either, because I'm a fisherman and I don't do that. Yeah. I'm actually below you on the grind. I'm not actually at <laughs> all, by the way. But, is that better? Yeah. <laughs> we look like twins then. The movie. Yeah, the real. movie. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we got a chance. It's been really cold. I was out like, flying to fishing last night in Paul Harbour and we managed to get one, but obviously this is totally different. Yeah. We've only got a couple of hours on it, um, but we've got just just up to high and then a nice bit of that runoff. So I like when I'm doing my mulleting. I love the runoff here. Um, gets that sort of spinner working. Um, the spinners, I'm going to be working, I mean, I say slower, you can't go much slower than mulleting, can you, but mm. slow as possible. I don't think it even matters if it's just bouncing across the bottom, you like when you're just like spooning for flounders and that sort of thing, so yeah. we shall give it a go. As we know, they're ferocious, aren't they? They are. They're actually quite ferocious feeders. Yeah, they so are. Really, yeah. Yeah. It's one thing, a lot of people think they're just kind of lazy things and they're mooching around, but they will chase and they will follow and they will attack. They're quite uh, feisty things. So here I am, up to my nicky nacky nose to quote another famous angler, I think, um, in freezing cold water. <laughs> it is chilly. There's my spinner. I've gone slightly larger. Um, so I've gone with a size five, but I've got some size fours as well. So whereas with mulleting I'm on threes and fours, I thought for this I'm going to go fours and fives. Um, probably doesn't make much difference really, but ever to slightly larger on the hook, I've gone for fours and a slightly larger bait. With the mullet, I'm on much smaller than that. I'm also on a slightly shorter tail. Um, we'll give that a go. No theory. Um, I'm going to do it exactly the same. I'm just going to flick it out. I am in shallow water, um, so I'll be slow retrieve. I've been keeping my rod up high just to stop it dragging through and catching on rocks and weed and things. Don't think for a second flounders won't come off the bottom. They will. They're ferocious little things. They'll come up a good couple of feet. spinner spinning and then it's just a slow retrieve Someone's going to come out today.
important to remember to keep changing that worm over. I've had a dozen or so casts with this one now. And it now resembles a, just a, a washed out bit of manky skin, really. Chuck that away. Get ourselves a nice fresh wriggler out. Don't forget to keep your worms well wrapped up this time of year as well. They do not like that really cold weather. Amazing how quickly they'll die. There we go. Same as mulleting. Head hook the ragworm with the top hook, all the way down to the bottom. As with all my fishing, no worm trailing below. Beautiful, fresh, juicy worm. Let's hope a fishy thing so. It's funny spinning here this time of year. Normally, uh, most casts in the summer, you've got some kind of fishy interest, whether it be two inch bass or mullet. But this time of year, absolutely nothing. No little, little checkers. That's when it becomes mind over matter. It's so easy with spinning lure fishing, whatever you want to call it, to, you know, give it a go, half hour in, you haven't caught anything, let's do something different, let's just chuck a bait out and sit there and play on your phone or something. But don't give up, don't give up with lure fishing, or spinning, or whatever you want to call it. I always say to people, you wouldn't go down the beach, chuck your rods out, your bait, sit there, and then half an hour later give up. Of course, one of the beauties of keeping the bait moving is you're avoiding the crabs. If your local estuary or harbour or river is also a crab haven, you'll know how frustrating it can be or bait fishing for flounders and just constantly getting stripped by crabs. Unless the crabs are feeling really energetic and lively, they're not going to be chasing a spinner. I might have to get out of the water in a minute, do some bank fishing. Just to defrost my gonads. I should put my gloves on, really. Why haven't I done that? Stupid boy. Fishing with my mate, Wayne. He's buggered off. He's all the way up there. Anti-social kit. Let's go and find him. All right, Wayne, I'll carry all your gear up for you. Honestly, it's fine. He's, he's walking back down towards me now. He's talking to his camera. I bet he's there going, oops, I feel really bad now. Tom's walking up with all my gear. Either that who he's saying, ah, here comes my ghillie with my gear. It's about time too. Just moved a uh, hundred yards or so up the harbour. Um, up around the, the wooden bench section. Um, another nice thing about this sort of style of fan is you can stay really mobile. It's really easy just to grab your bag and move. I've decided to stay slightly shallower with the wading. Trying to defrost my gentleman sausage. I'm entirely sure he's sticking to the speed limit. Fresh worm. Another little 50 yard move. Every time I do things like that, you get oh, a little bit more confidence, but there's the next sort of three, four, five casts feeling like, oh, this is the one. Did you? I reckon it's a sea trout though. Okay. It looked like a pike. <laughs> I don't know if they'd be that far down. It wasn't the flat fish, it was green. Okay, could have been a pike then. I don't Not bass. I was just like tapping it along the bottom and I just seen the shadow. I was like, and then of course you're just like this. Yeah. And then it just like, I've run out of 
like this. One out of, yeah, one out of water. Ah, don't go around in circles. Yeah. Bit of a last throw of the dice, guys. I've come right round to the point now. Ty's just started to move a little bit. This is nice. This is the spooning that I wanted. 2023. <laughs> No one's judging, no. apart from these guys. So Tom was fishing down there. I've walked up here and I've had a follow. Mm. Where's Tom? Nowhere. Nowhere, I've definitely not just jumped in your swim and kicked you off. No. I wouldn't do that. To be honest, I've been flying to fishing all night <laughs> and I'm absolutely froze. Um, but yeah, we've kind of, we've given it a go. We have. Um, we, we had, you know, it was always gonna be a little short, sharp um, one, the conditions, um, I'd just make excuses here, aren't I? But we haven't caught a flounder. <laughs> I've enjoyed it though. And it has been nice keeping mobile and keeping moving. That's been the yeah. thing. I'm, I'm not a fan of normal flounder fishing because it's um, monotonous. It's just. Nine hours, one bite. Nine hours, Is that what you mean? one bite, yeah. That's how we sum it up. Now, I know there are parts of the country where you can actually catch fish. Yeah. But <laughs> this isn't uh, one of them. Or everyone else. Oh, maybe not us, but. Yeah. <laughs> We're having fun though. But you're right in what you're saying. When we come down, well, actually, it's a pain in the backside. When we're mullet fishing, you get them rattles, aren't you? Constantly. Oh, it's constant, it, it yeah. It just keeps you going though. It does, because it's just life, you know. Yeah. There's, there's fish there, there's. Um, and to be honest, and you can see fish, you can see the mullet moving around, that yeah. sort of thing. Um, this time of year, January, it's, it's, it's bleak and lifeless. Hmm. We're not selling it, are we? But come down. <laughs> Buy some bait from Tom, buy a day ticket, I'm sure you'll have a great time. No, it's fine, it's fishing, everyone knows this. Absolutely. We're not reinventing the wheel, but no. we're out trying different things. Especially floundering. Yeah. Nobody catches flounders every time they go. Oh no. To be fair though, what we're doing is what probably a lot of people will be able to do after work. Yeah. Not everyone, well we, we haven't got all day to come all the time. Um, but some people have literally got two or three hours like us, um, and that's what we've done today. Yeah. And we've still had a good time. Yeah, I always enjoy it. It's just nice to be out. It's nice to be out daytime as well, because I've always said this in the past, I, my daytime sessions are always limited. Yeah. So much of my stuff is the evenings, uh, which is fine, because you know, I live in an area where the evening fishing is very good, but it's always just nice to fish daytime, isn't it? Yeah. You have to enjoy the scenery a little bit more. Definitely. Watch your wildlife. Watch the wildlife. Talk to people. That's not good. No, we don't want that. No. Not that we're antisocial, we just don't like people. I'm going to wade out a little bit further out there. Yeah, go out onto there. You know where we go out there? Yeah. Bar. Just to really freeze my gonads off. Yeah. And then once they've got to the stage where they've broken through the pain and they're now just numb, then we'll have a walk home and warm them up, shall we? Um, well, I say we warm them up. No. Can I rephrase that? Just like, <laughs> I'll cut this whole bit out, it's fine. Sorry, I'm not the one with the pink hat on talking about someone else. <laughs> I'm now running away from Wayne. It's getting frisky. Well, we've finally frozen to death and we're uh, running away. We didn't have a lot of time today, but we've actually cut it short even then, haven't we? <laughs> it's just so cold. Um, that's a terrible excuse. We didn't catch a flounder, which is a shame. Um, that doesn't mean that we did it wrong. No. I'm gonna come back and do this again, without a doubt. Um, I just think I'm gonna wait for the, for the conditions to be slightly more in our favor, and perhaps not minus a billion. Yeah, we didn't expect the freezing fog, did we? No, the freezing fog, um, that kind of just yeah, got to me bones, man. Anyway, that's a negative. Let's think of a positive. I've enjoyed myself. I've been fishing, it's daytime. Yeah. Got back out with you, which is always nice. Um, Thanks. And the next video can only be better, right? Yeah, but it's good, like we said. <laughs> This is fishing, you know about it by now. If you come out and try something a little bit different, we could have brought the bait rods out and gone yeah, to Paul Harbour, yeah. chucked some ragworm out, banked it around, we would have probably caught some flounder. But we didn't have a time. Possibly caught some flounder. Yeah, we didn't have a time. Um, and this is a great area to come out for a few hours. Ah, it's beautiful, yeah. Horses, wildlife, you. <laughs> yeah, on that bombshell, <laughs> see you next time, guys. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>